Hello! Welcome to Flat4 Education video tutorials for students. In this video, we'll review how to join your teacher's class, the basics of our music notation editor, and how to work on the assignments your teacher created. Are you ready? Let's get started. Once your teacher has added you to the class, you'll see it in your dashboard view. If you click on it, you'll see everything that has been shared in the class, the ongoing assignments and the different posts written by your teacher. If your teacher sent you an invitation code, you only need to click on Join a new class, enter the code and click on Join. Let's quickly review how our editor works. Click on New Score or Tab, name the file and click on Continue. You can choose from over 100 instruments. Don't worry, if you want to add more instruments or change them later, you'll be able to do so. Click on Create. Now, you must be wondering how to enter notes into the score. You need to put your cursor on the place you want to enter the note and click. If you want to change the pitch of an inserted note, click on it and drag it to the right place. To change the duration of a note, Click on the note and choose the correct duration in the note toolbar. For rests, this works the same way. Talking about rests, to insert one, you only need to delete a note and the rest will automatically be inserted. Regarding the note toolbar, you have the different accidentals, the note duration, the tie feature, the tuplet, the different insert modes, some beaming functions, and so on. To finish with the note toolbar, you can insert a second voice to add a different duration sequences that play at the same time in a single staff. Then you have the articulation, ornament, and dynamic toolbars with all you need to bring different intentions and colors to the score. Additionally, we have the measure toolbar. You can insert and delete measures, add a system break, and insert a multi-measure rest. You can change the settings of the measure as the key and the time signature, also the tempo. By the way, you can edit those settings by clicking on the corresponding parts on the score. You can add swing and rehearsal marks. The text toolbar enables you to insert lyrics, chords, figured brass, and annotations. What else do we have here? The undo and redo tool, the copy, cut, and paste tool. Here, you can export your score in different formats. You can export the whole score or single parts. Here you have the layout options and here you have the zoom in, zoom out and the option to change the display mode. Last but not least, the audio panel. You can adjust your playback speed and the volume of the different parts. Now Let's click on the instrument-shaped icon located on the upper left side of the screen. Here, you can decide which parts are displayed. If you click on Manage Instruments, you'll be able to edit the parts. You can replace and delete the instrument. Also, you can add a new instrument. To share your score, you can directly click on this icon, copy and paste the link to the score and share it with your teacher or other classmates. Once your teacher publishes an assignment, you can click on it to access the activity. Click on Start Assignment and follow your teacher's instructions. By the way, when you start a new assignment, a score will be automatically created and named in your library. 
Once you're done, press Turn In. If you want to add an existing score in your library to the assignment, please go to the assignment and you will see the section called Your Work on the right side of the page or below the instructions. You need to click on Add an existing score and choose the score from your library. Then click on Turn In to send your work. What if you want to edit a submitted assignment? Well, go to the desired assignment, click on Edit, make the necessary changes and click on Turn In again. We will notify your teacher that you have turned in the assignment. This is all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.